Welcome to another Blender tutorial on teaching you some basic modeling tips. First of all, you should already have Blender open, and I do. And you have this default cube. Normally, you would just delete that because you don't want just a cube. But we will edit that as an example. So we will press tab to change it to a mesh. And then press A to deselect all of it. Now we will now subdivide it in the Y axis, or I mean, wait, I need to change my view. Maybe I'll help you out also, help, help everyone out also. From this view, this, uh, from this view, this is the top face, which you press 7 to view that side. This is the front face, which you press 1, and this is the side face well the side in which you press three so we will press one to view the front and now we will subdivide it along that axis so what we need to do is we need to press control tab and then to change the select mode to vertices and well, from vertices to edges now you will only be able to select edges by right clicking them or you could box select them so we will press B and then drag over the ones you want to select and we have those selected. Now we will press W to subdivide and select subdivide and we are going to subdivide this twice on as an example. So subdivide it twice and now we will deselect all by pressing A and switch back to vertices by pressing control tab and then selecting the vertices. Now we will press box and B for box and then select drag over the middle vertices and I will just press delete and it will ask you what you want to delete and I will delete the vertices. Now you'll notice that we have two prisms but they are not closed so there is a way to close them easily. All you have to do is select all four of the well, all four vertices around the open area, like this, by right-clicking them and press holding down Shift to multi-select. And now we will press F, and it will put a face on that. Now we will do that for the other side as well, and we will press right-click and then Shift, and then right-click the rest of them, and then press F to create the face. And now you will see that we have two full prisms that but they're only one object. Maybe I want to scale this down so we will press 3 to view the side and then we will press S to scale. Well, actually, we have to press A to select the vertices we want to scale. Press S to scale, but we only want to scale in the y axis so that it's shorter so press the letter Y and it will only allow you to. Now you can enter in numbers depending on how much you want as the ratio to what you originally have. What you really would originally you have one as your you know as the default. So we will press 0 0.5 and it will be half as long. And we left click to finish that. Now we will view it now it looks like a two prisms still rectangular prisms and now we will do some other things we'll press 3 to view the side and we will now go back into the edges well actually I'll view the front because that's better so we will press we'll go into edges by pressing control tab and going to edges now we will box select these ones going in the X axis by pressing B and going dragging over them then we will press W to subdivide and we will just subdivide them again for fun now we will select well we want to select vertices instead now so we will press control tab and then go to vertices now we'll press 3 to view the side and why don't we select why don't we select these ones these ones right here and extrude them so press 3 now we will box select these only 
and press B, drag over them, and press. Now we will extrude them by pressing the letter E, and then we want to extrude the region, so we click region, and it allows you to extrude it in a direction. Now, if you want it a spe specific direction or amount, just enter in the number, and I think 0 0.15 would fit for this case. So I will enter 0 0.15, I think that's right, no? Oh, 0 0.15, and then left click, and now you have extruded pieces. So now we will also, maybe suppose you're making something interesting and you want to connect these two, supposedly you want to make a handrail or something, I don't know, depends on what you you are trying to make. So just all you have to do to connect these is right click a whole box that you want to extrude that connects the, to this other side and why don't we view it in as the front and we will press E to extrude the region and we doesn't matter where you put it because it will still have to connect to the other side so we will just left click any location and, well as long as it's in this direction now we will now select well we have to connect them so I will view it like this and I will select this side this part of it first that it wants to connect to then the other part and then I will press W, then I will go down to merge, and press at first because I selected that part, because I selected this one first, and I want it to connect here. So do the, so you'll do the same for all the rest of them. Right click the other ones, and then press W, merge, at first, and it removed the vertice. Now we will now turn around by pressing 6 because it allows us to turn or rotate the figure. And we will select this one and this one and W merge at first. So do the same thing for the last one. Select them, W mer merge at the first and then it removes the vertices. Now you have this design, and you could do many things with it. Supposedly you want to maybe make it make it go in from here. You could press, you could select four of these like a square. Oops, wrong one. And then you could press extrude the region, then right click to keep it in the same place that it originally started, and then press scale S to make it smaller. Then just viewed in 3, like press 3 and to get the side view, and press G in the Y axis, and maybe, or even and just press E again, and then extrude in this way, and you have this interesting shape that you've made, which is kind of interesting, and that's all I have to say for Blender, hope you like that tutorial. Now.